Hi, Aries. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless singles love reading. Today, we're going to ask Spirit for some clues and evidence. I am going to be sharing with you some charms. I also have a bowl of initials, tarot dice, and miniature tarot tile. So we will be using some of those. So let's get started. Let's see what's coming towards you. Any evidence or clues that Spirit wants to share with you? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm so grateful that you were guided here today. Spirit, please share with me any loving messages for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is it that you have for them? Let's see, a window, a new adventure in love is coming. Get ready. I always like that feeling. I always like that feeling like, are you ready? Get ready. Like, here it comes. Okay. All right. We're ready. We definitely are ready. I have an apology. Never underestimate the power of a heartfelt apology. Does someone owe you an apology? Probably. There's probably a few people that owe you an apology out there. I have a romance. Romantic surprises are on the horizon. Be open to them. So there's the get ready. Get ready for the romantic surprise. And I have relax. Find joy in the simple pleasures of just being together. How about just taking a deep breath? And I also like this feeling of I feel at peace when I'm with this person, that it's very relaxing or I'm very I'm in my comfort zone when I'm with them. So that could be that's really important, even if you're just hanging out, you know, no matter what you're doing, that you just feel comfortable. Let's see what the cards are saying. Spirit, please share with me. I have a chariot. Queen of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. So the, the Five of Pentacles came into me as hard times are over, okay? And it could be connected to this relationship, or it could be that this relationship just lifts you up so that you just feel better about something going on in your life and you're just in a better place. But I do feel like, I'm going to say it that way, hard days are over, something like that. Because I feel like this is the shift that you've been waiting for. This is the, the movement, so to speak, that you've been waiting for. So I do feel like you're going to feel more secure in this connection, comforted. We're moving on from a period in our life that maybe hasn't been working so well with you. And this is spirit just used the word a transition, that this relationship just transforms your life into where you really want to be or really where you're supposed to be, whether it's a different home, a different location. I just feel like it's it's a, a really positive, I guess I want to say it that way. I have a death. So we're ending something. We're moving on from, I'm going to say it's not even a death of a relationship. We're moving on from some difficult times. This person, like I said, could be somebody that just inspires you, motivates you, lends you a hand to get started with something or to help you in some way. And because you're partners or you're falling in love and they want to help you and they care about you. So I do feel like it's a fresh start for you. For once, this person's going to want a commitment. Beautiful. I have a king of pentacles. They want you to feel secure and safe. They want to invest time. They are strong is how it's coming into me. They have built themselves up somehow, whether it's their career or their um, confidence, something like that even. They're going out of their way to spend time with you, Spirit also just said, that this alone period is over whatever this i'm single i've been alone for a long time you are just kind of used to that just clarification just for a moment on that hermit spirit please i have a five of swords don't fight it <laughs> don't fight it and i have temperance if you feel comfortable and you feel at peace in this connection 
and this person is bringing you um, that you just it just feels right okay that I think that that's something I want you to take notice of sometimes we put so much time and effort into what do they look like what do they do for a living who have they been in a relationship all those questions which are important and we don't put as much effort and energy into what does it feel like when I'm with this person? What does my energy feel like? What are my emotions feel like? Am I anxious? Am I stressed? Or am I calm and peaceful? And I feel grounded. Okay. Different people, as you know, push, push energy out to the universe. And if you're empathic like myself or intuitive, you're going to pick up on that energy. And I want you to listen to that energy. And if that energy feels like it feels good to you, that could be bigger than I'm attracted to this person, that your energies are working. So keep that in mind. Sometimes we don't we don't take notice of that as much as we should. Can you feel my love? Can you feel that I love you? They could say they love you, but do you sense it? Do you feel it? Do you know in your heart they love you? I love your smile. That could be the first thing they say to you. How did I get so lucky? They're going to appreciate you. They're going to be grateful that you've come into, the, into their life. Your hair shimmers in the moonlight. That just came into me as a little bit of a love bomb, of course, but more as a, a hopeless romantic that they just say things that nobody's ever said to you or, you know, maybe it's corny at times, but to you, it sounds great. I think that, you know, we all have been there and is somebody going to say your hair shimmers in the moonlight? I don't think so. But I think that they will say things that maybe nobody has ever said to you. That would be nice. Let's see what else they have for you. Spirit, please share with me. The present, being in the present. I want you to feel what it is, this connection. I want you to stay in the present when it starts. I don't want you to be projecting, where am I going to be with five years from, from now? If you're enjoying this person, you have a lot in common, you're happy when you're with them, you look forward to being with them, that is where I want you to focus. I want you to just stay in the now as best you can and enjoy it. Enjoy the love, love potion, a little bit of a, I'm under your spell. <laughs> You've cast a spell over me. A um, little bit of a lovesick puppy feeling. So somebody is... Um, definitely falling for you. I'm going to say it that way as well. I have a twin flame. We're mirroring each other, some kind of soul contract. I'm very attracted to you. Beautiful. And I have harmony. We're working well together. I really do feel that way. I feel that there's a sense of peace. There's a sense of peace and harmony in this connection. Bottom of the deck I have together, a sacred union. Of course, swans are soulmates. So I do like this, but there's there's very much a feeling of, for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm with the person who I'm supposed to be with. Something along those lines. Let's grab some charms. Let's get some initials. Let's get that going with the dice and see what initial side this big bowl of dice i'm just gonna i'm just gonna grab some dice some tarot and i'm gonna go like this wow we got a lot okay let's see what the letters are let's start with the dice let's start with the dice let's make sure everybody can see so i do have a tower but it's in reverse so this is i'm gonna say you're over somebody of course that there was an ending but I feel like it's no longer affecting you is how it's coming into me. I have an ace of wands. So there is my passion kind of flying in. I have a sun, a new beginning. Thank you, spirit. I have a lover's card. There's my soul contract. Beautiful. And I have the world. So this is a new beginning. This is 
this is moving you from, what did they say a minute ago? that hard days are over, whether it's you've been struggling that you're single or lonely or that you'd like to share the weight of uh, the burden of supporting a home with somebody else and not do it all by yourself anymore, whatever it is. But it's going to get easier because of this connection. I have an R. I have an L. I have an S, an X. Lots of letters, a U, a D, another U, I have an E, an A, H, B, I don't have any repeats yet, usually I get a lot of repeats, I have a B, a B. I'm going to put this O over there, I have a B, G, okay, I have a, a V, wow, lots of letters, N, and another S. So we have lots of letters, first initials, last initials. You could even, with that many letters, some of you may be even able to spell a whole name. And if you are, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. Let's see what else they want to share with us today. Lots of cards. Let's see what we have. So some of the things that I love up until now, stay in the present. I love the sense of harmony and being at peace and that you're connecting energetically, that you feel this person. Oh, my hands just tingled. I love that, that you're feeling this person's energy. OK, I feel that that's something that spirit's going to show you and you're going to feel different in their presence and it will just feel very comforting to you. I feel that it's maybe it's the sound of their voice or they have a very engulfing energy where they take you in with this big bear hug every time they see you, whatever it is, it feels good. I have a six of cups. I have a nine of wands, knight of wands. I have an ace of cups and a nine of cups. So this feels like something I've always wanted. It feels that it's a combination of there's I'm falling in love with you and it's it's an I know it's real. I know these emotions are real. I feel safe and secure emotionally. And I also am very attracted to you and I, I'm excited about it. So I feel like it's the best of both worlds. It's it's not one, one a lot of one versus the other that we have a great physical chemistry, but there isn't the emotional um, attraction happening or the emotional word. So I do feel like we have the best of both worlds starting to unfold. I have a three of wands. I see a future with you. I, I do feel that way. I feel like we start talking about it. I'm going to say very soon, you know, is three months too soon is six months too soon, not necessarily with the right person. I feel that you're, you're adults, you know what you like, you know what you want. And I feel like you start to talk about a future um, very easily. And it just, it just comes naturally for you both. I have a king of pentacles. Uh, that just came into me as being proud of the person that you're with. They could be proud of you. You're proud of them almost the sense of your achievements, what you're doing with your life, um, your motivations, your ambitions, all of those things. And a 10 of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're very proud to be with this person and that you know that moving into the future that this person is very ambitious or this person um, has a goal in mind and you know that they're going to stay you know, kind of on track, whether it's their career or plans for their own future. So I do feel like you're very proud to be with this person. That's always nice. And let's get some more clues. Spirit, please share with me any clues you have. Online dating. Is that how we're going to meet? <laughs> we may meet online. A lot of people meet online. Don't knock it till you try it. I met my husband online dating. So plenty of fish. I met my husband on plenty of fish. So give it a try. Um, I have a cup of coffee. Let's meet for a cup of coffee. Let's just get to know each other. This person could be athletic or played um, some kind of sports. Uh, maybe they played sports in high school. 
I have a party. I don't know if they're a partier, but maybe we enjoy a night out. Maybe we both enjoy um, a room full of people. We, we like to be in that atmosphere. We like to be alone, Spirit said, but we aren't against going out for a night out in the town, so to speak. I have music is important romantic music. I feel like it's a specific type of music. I almost felt like like soft jazz or like older music, like jazz. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm going jazzy, um, so, you know, soft rock. I mean, just, just kind of traditional older, um, I guess, genres. You complete me, piece of the puzzle. I have, I want to go on a cruise. Take me away. Take me away to somewhere warm. Maybe that's important. We plan that at work. That's coming into me as a home office. Maybe one of you works out of the house and that's really great for, for a connection. And here's the chill vibes. Maybe somebody wears eyeglasses as well, that there's just a sense of comfort. There's this sense of no matter what we're doing, it just feels like, I don't know, a warm, a warm uh, slippers, you know, a, a big sweater, a big um, blanket on your lap on a cold winter day, something like that. Spirit, please share with me any angel numbers that might be important. What angel numbers do you have for me? Let's see what they want to share. Nine, nine. I see you. I see the truth in you. A little bit of your intuition, knowing that this person's being honest and open. 333, three, support. I support you emotionally. I'm there for you. I will hold you up when you feel like you're falling. What's that? I'll catch you when you fall. So something like that is going on in this connection. 2020, oh, oh, there's a love bond happening here. And let's get one more card. I have one, two, three, four. There's great potential. There's the transition, the transformation I had a moment ago that they're, they're starting to open up a path in your life that I guess you've really needed and you've really wanted and you really have been waiting for. So I, a little bit of God is good also that you finally have, you know, received what it is that you've been manifesting. Spirit, please share with me when, any timelines that you want to share with me, anything about time that's important in this connection. I have in the spring, I felt like there was two stuck together, but I guess they're not. Okay, in the spring, it's not that far away. I have March, that's definitely heading into the spring. I have February. Maybe we're, we meet in the early winter months and then we're, we're definitely, love is blooming in the spring. And I have this week. If you meet this person this week, let me know. Claim it, owner, own it. That would be really exciting. Let's get some charms. I always like to read these intuitively just to see if anything jumps out at me that's in alignment with the cards. Let's get some a scoop. I'm gonna give these a good stir so that I can get to the bottom. See what fell at the bottom and see if I can get some different. I like to get some different charms. Okay, so let's see what we have. I'm going to start with the letters. The letter D. I have a K. I have an L. And I have a T. Let's see what I have. I have a book and I have a tie. So I feel like this person has invested a lot of time in an education and in some kind of professional career, okay? That whether um, they get dressed up every day, it could be you or them, just a prof I'm just gonna say professional career. Like that says professional career to me of some kind. Let's see what else we have. I have a crown, I have a heart, I have a throne, <laughs> I like that. Let's see if there's anything else related to that because that's, that's a lot of 
feelings along the lines of, I'm going to treat you right. I'm going to treat you like a, um, a prince or a princess. So I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to go with the crown and the throne. I like that. Let's see what else is, is coming into me as a collective. So I have, I have this glass of wine, but it's coming into me as uh, with this strawberry, like a glass of champagne with a strawberry in it, like a romantic evening. So that would be nice. I have a yin uh, and a yang energy. So this, we balance each other. I like that. I have, let's look at this. I don't even know if you can see this. It's so small. I didn't even realize what it was. Okay, I'm going to try to get it with my nails. And I have a, I have a paw and I have a miniature black cat. So we have animals in our life. We could have animals in the future. We could have animals now. Um, I really, look at that little black cat. Look at how cute that is. So I didn't even see it. It was like sinking into the, this background here. It's all this felt um, holder, I guess. All right, let's see what else. My little cat's upside down. I don't want him to be upside down. Let me just, let me just maneuver him. Okay, he's good now. Uh, let's see what else I'm feeling. I have, these look like, I have a star and I have a compass. This looks like a compass to me. So the compass, I think that's a compass. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It's, it's picking up the light is what's doing. All right, so I have a compass and I have a star and I have this kind of, I don't know, maybe Saturn energy and a little bit of the universe brought us together energy that we just feel like something bigger than us has brought us together. So I'll definitely say that I have a purple... I'm not sure what this represents. I, I, it could be a, for like autism. I'm not sure. It's like a purple, you know, the pink is for like breast cancer. But this is, I think, if anybody knows what the purple means, let me know because I feel like it, it could have some meaning in this reading. And I have a baby bottle. There could be a baby. I also have a purple in the seashell. I don't know. I feel protective. I'm going to say it that way. Between this shell and this little symbol, I feel protective. There could be a family member that has special needs or um, a sibling that is autistic, something like that, that is very special to the both of you. So we will we'll keep that in mind. I have no idea what this is. I think it's a gargoyle. I'm, I'm just going to put that over there. I don't know what the gargoyle is. But I have two diamonds and I'm going to say, you know, not only is it an engagement, but how about an exchange of rings? You know, just we are going to give rings to each other. So an exchange of rings of some kind. So how beautiful. Let's see what else we have. So I've loved so many things about this reading so far. Let's get a final message and final feelings. And then we're going to manifest this together. So let's see what we have. I have timing. Of course, everything comes to you in perfect divine timing. Spirit always puts us in our place when we get ahead of ourselves. Let's see what else. Illumination. What you could not see before becomes clear. Your future opening up that you are realizing that there's somebody that you're going to share your life with and you guys make plans and you talk about it and it's starting to come true and it's a reality. So that's beautiful. I have a family making a home, having kids, supporting even a combined family that we have children maybe from other sides or a previous child that's included, but our families come together. I get to know your family. You get to know my family. That's a big part of relationships. And let's get one more of these beautiful goddess messages, transforming. You have the power to make profound changes in your life. So 
I feel like this is this is a change. This is a one of those times in your life that I, I always like to think of it as a moment in time that the moment that this connection started, it started me down this amazing new path to where I am today. So I'm going to say it's a moment in time that's going to be very, very special. Let's see what the love messages are. Spirit, please share with me what love messages do you have? I'm not going anywhere. I always love that. Somebody who's committed to this connection, somebody who makes you feel really, really secure that they really are in it for the long run. I want to speak my truth. Somebody who's truthful. Thank you, spirit. I'm not used to this type of love. This could be a very deep, profound love. I haven't been this in love with anybody ever in my lifetime. Beautiful. Your love has me looking crazy. So they could be falling really hard and fast for you. I want to have kids with you. There's the family. And I pray about us. We could both be uh, the same religion or have the same spiritual beliefs. That's beautiful. I can't picture my life without you. Your life is about to change. That really is the reading that this connection is, is going to change your life, change your path. Hard days are over, something like that. But the bottom line is I can't picture my life without you. And when you find a person that you feel that way and they feel the same, that is the person you're meant to be with. You just can't live without them. So we're going to we're going to manifest this. We're going to ask spirit to bring this to you now. I want to thank you all for being here. Of course, I want to thank spirit for these messages. Most of all. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, uh, my website I'll put below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com. Thank you for your likes, your comments. I really, really appreciate the support. And we will see you again in another Love Messages very, very soon.